If this is the first time you see me, probably you guys not even interested in that. Who's this guy? I don't even remember his name. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you're so fascinating to read about my freaking life and intraosseous, zygomatic, Imanjayama. What did you say? You've been living your whole lives yet just to come this moment. Dr. Pavel Jelnov, and I'm gonna read some articles to you. Okay, let's start with some some interesting articles that I've just found on PubMed. Um, I've actually got a special query to find systematic reviews on PubMed, and isn't this query? I for for a couple of months now I've been locating all the systematic reviews that are being added to PubMed and screening them that's about two or three hundred articles per uh, per day so let's just let's just take one and look at it well that's it well that's it what we've got here Primary care screen for abdominal aortic, aortic aneurysm. Probably not that interesting. Myosteatosis. Not that interesting. Systematic review of case status as named melaton, melatonergic agonist and so on. Not very fascinating. Teaching object play to young children with disabilities. Not that, not that bad, but not that, not that good. Not, um, not that good. Not enough. Good. Health and health belief factors associated with screening and help seeking behaviors for breast cancer. Well, let's look for something else. Evaluation treatments for Bertholin's cyst. Wouldn't be good. Using circulating tumor DNA as a novel biomarker. Mm, it could be interesting, but not probably not for the general audience that we have here. All cause and cause specific mortality among people using extra medical opioids. Well, let's just let's just skip that for now. Use of immunotherapy, focus and safety of chimeric antigen receptor. Blah blah and blah blah. Thickest of herbal medicine on ulcerative colitis. Renumab safety and efficacy in migraine. Well, that's better, but not good enough. The effect of text message reminders and medication adherence. Well, it's too too shabby. Too shabby. Look at corticoid and blah blah. Systematic review meta analysis evaluating geriatric constipation, older trauma patients, congenital forearm and pseudarthrosis. Well, nobody probably probably knows what this means, and they shouldn't. A systematic review meta analysis of post licensure observational blah blah. Kruzfeld Jacobs disease. Whoa, that's great. I've actually met. Uh, one day I've actually met the the uh, discoverer. Can I say that the discoverer? Well, the person who who has actually discovered all these prion diseases. That is, uh, uh, who was this guy? I don't even remember the name. Well, prion diseases. Who was it who invented them? I've met the guy, but I don't remember who the guy was. That's too bad. Too bad, man. Stanley Prusiner. That's it. Well, I've actually, yeah, I've actually uh, I've listened to his lecture and, and, and even had a chance to ask him a couple questions. Uh, and this is not the best part of it. The best part of it is that I've got a photo with Stanley Prusiner, Dr. Stanley Prusiner, the Nobel, uh, Nobel Laureate, that's it, 
So here we go. That's that's just a little little sideline, but that's interesting. Fear of vena cava syndrome and neonates. Up your eyes for chronic osteoarthritis pain. Whoa, not bad. Health problems and care needs in patients with Karsakoff syndrome. That's Karsakoff syndrome is is interesting thing. Yeah. Psychiatry. Whoa. Teaching academic skills to students with significant intellectual disabilities. That's a major thing to do. Well, I've already screened through 31 references. Not a single one is good enough to discuss it in public. Yeah, well, first of all, PubMed is a specialized database. So this is not, this is not something very, um, very fascinating, I'd say. Well, just look at that. Idiopathic acute pancreatitis after a cholecystectomy. Yeah, well, that's a topic to discuss uh, in general public. That's, that's very interesting. Yeah, I see that. Anxiety, stress in alopecia, errata, areata. That's what you guys would really like to hear about. I know that. I'm sure about that. Mediators of physical activity, behavior, change, interventions among adults. Nobody really cares about that, do they? Behavioral activation treatment for depression. Whoa, 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 whoa. Should we... Whoa, that's not that. Same day bidirectional endoscopy. State of minimally invasive pancreatic adenectomy in Chinese mainland. This is the topic. Yeah, yeah, we've been looking for it. We've been looking for it, guys. Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea. Whoa, that's it. Acute perforated diverticulitis. That too. Blood pressure, hypertension, the risk of sudden cardiac death. A systematic reading analysis of cord status. Probably, probably gonna be too, uh, too lame actually. Uh, that's probably gonna be a big study and uh, discussion risk and discussion um, well, risk exploration studies are um, are, are always uh, a great a great a great problem for, for for a reader I've written about that in a comment to some GMA article that came out recently but I'd say a couple of months ago and uh, the article was the article was about um, about how sweet beverages are bad for your health, and there 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 were uh, really big problems with this article. And first of all, was a risk exploration study, so so it was really hard to deal with, and it was a really hard uh, thing to a die hard. Thing to to analyze so I just pointed out I can I can and I will put the uh, references in the description for this video uh, all the references probably you guys not even interested in that because you you never you never saw me you actually this is the first time you see me you never uh, heard anything about me and now you are so fascinating to read about my uh, freaking life and uh, to to look at the photos yeah I know that that's that's very interesting that's you've been you've been you've been living your whole lives yet yeah, just just to come this moment but still I'm gonna put all the references in the description below okay 43 references here vaginal birth versus cesarean section for extremely preterm vertex infants want to hear about that nope I don't think so well I don't want to hear about that okay experiences of taking neuroleptic medication impacts on symptoms and so on probably not a very broad topic the preparedness of hospital emergency departments for responding to disasters in Iran well I'm sure that we got a lot of viewers from Iran but um, I don't think that's quite a big topic to discuss in general audience well but probably iran is a very interesting topic for everybody just uh, well state just state so in the comment section please 
I beg you, if you are not, uh, if you not agree, if, 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 if you don't agree, if you don't agree, uh, Russians here, hello there. Uh, if you don't agree uh, with anything that I just said, just just comment. Like we guys always do on YouTube. You don't, you disagree, you go and comment. I disagree with you. The the poster is uh, is uh, is. He's not he's not a good guy and I'm I'm, I'm done voting the video over over out over uh, well really as far as I know over that's that's what they that's what they doing quite a lot in movies uh, they, they're doing it like that blah 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 on the radio and then over as far as I know over is is a keyword or well a specific word used in the situations when you uh, when you're waiting for the answer you say over when you're not waiting for the answer you say out and that's what they do in the movies all the time I don't know I don't know what's wrong with them but that's probably uh, that's probably just stereotypic pre-hospital pain management reference number 46 not that one systematic review of patient outcomes and associated predictors of micro fracture uh, in the patella femoral joint whoa that's that's uh that's the topic that i'd like to hear about probably yeah patella femoral joint this is orthopedics and i'm an orthopedic surgeon you know i surely do not look like one but i am and i really work as one here here in russia that that's what i do well i i actually wor work um as a, a kind of a orthopedic drama emergency physician, something like that, because here in Russia we, we ain't got a uh, generic profile emergency physicians like you guys uh, in most of the countries. It's like when you, when you get to the ER, you get uh, treated by these, these uh, d doctor only and whatever the problem the problem and we got specialists in the ER we got uh, a hospitalist we got a surgeon we got a neurologist we got a, an orthopedic surgeon like myself and all of these specialists are well the primary physicians for these patients and so that's what I do that's what that's not the only thing that I do in my life but that's one of them Let's 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 uh, go back to the references, please, please, please. I I started to to uh, to decline too much. Decline? What did I just say? To uh, diverge. This is the word to diverge from the path uh, that I uh, that I uh, I actually wanted to go. Uh, that video is gonna be a mess, man. This is gonna be a mess. Okay. Multi-dimensional screen for predicting pain problems in adults. Let's move on. Effect of music. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Effect of music listening on hypertonia. I'm sorry. Let's just fix that a little bit. Effect of music listening on hypertonia. Neurologically impaired patients. Neurologically impaired patients is kind of a specific population. So let's just move on. Infectious prophylaxis association with between blood circulating vitamin D. Now that patient safety and patient mental health settings, pregnancy decisions after fetal or perinatal death, internal vitamin D, ecological momentary assessments with schizophrenia. Whoa, 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 whoa! Systematic. You know, guys, what I actually want to do is find some interesting articles that that could be really interesting for uh, for general audience that uh, could be interesting for any uh, any normal person that that have some general sense and um, relate to to uh, to everybody's health and uh, the articles that could be for example taken by the media and uh, discussed in the media but because because of the fact that written scientific articles well and uh, specifically written scientific articles in clinical medicine is kind of kind of a tricky 
uh, activity and uh, this is this really does need some special skills a lot of special skills actually and so those lacking these skills and some media guys just do like them I'm sorry but this is true this is not a this is not even some new information this is really well this is a really well-known fact but, uh, media guys tend to lag these uh, skills and so these data these information from these articles could potentially be misinterpreted in the media and what I want to do is take out these articles these freshly cut uh, new newly published articles just out of there out of PubMed and uh, discuss them and look at them closely and uh, just let us all discuss these important articles, what uh, conclusions we can draw from them and what effect uh, they can have uh, on our health and how they can be important for us. Uh, of course, that activity is of mere um, empirical or practical interest for, for a general audience, but also if, uh, if there, if there were some medical students or some medical or health professionals out there uh, listen and view this video uh, listen to and view and watching the video I'm sorry I'm really sorry for uh, for these little mistakes and uh, so if, if there were some that that could be potentially important for them and interesting as as a as an exercise uh, as a journal club so please join please uh, please please let's just start with finding an, an, a really interesting article and starting to discuss that uh, further I could uh, I could uh, I was planning on uh, asking you guys to to uh, choose an article from from the list from a uh, pre-compiled list of articles to choose one to discuss in the next video but I, I actually didn't prepare a list that was just spontaneous that I I just uh, I just sat and started to record this video and was it was really a spontaneous decision that and I just thought why not make this my first video because this is really a problem when it's when you wanna wanna do your first video where to start what article to take what to talk about so so this is probably gonna be uh, probably gonna be interesting if I just start to, to talk whatever is on my mind but let's just finish what we started uh, a SQL reference okay let's go on let's go on systematic meta-analysis of self-serving attribution biases and uh, effective study design serve my lab not not interesting not interesting probably not interested impact of pediatric critical illness and injury on families well what i always like about such articles is is the very fact of their existence like what would the impact of pediatric critical illness and injury on families be that be that probably be the most positive impact mm, that, that, that that's interesting i i yeah i'm, I'm sure i'm surely i'm i'm not a a behavioral scientist or a social scientist so I'm pretty pretty far uh, away from such uh, such explorations but uh, really uh, there is something I I don't understand about such studies the effectiveness of food orthosis in the treatment of medial knee osteoarthritis that is close that is really close we could do that but let's just go on I'm just sure that we'll find some interesting articles further and just mind the fact that all of these articles are very recent look at just look at this 2019 December 19 2019 December 10 these are the newly added uh, newly indexed references on the um, on the most popular most important medical database uh, in the world and so this is uh, so the, the, these is uh, to a degree quite quite um, quite a rare information for you to get in the in the general media because the, this is really um, a specialist approach to this I'm not 
not gonna gonna uh, laudate myself, but this is uh, this is really a specialist approach. I'm I'm probably gonna talk a little more uh, about how, about methodology, about how I came to to these to this activity of uh, screening systematic reviews, all systematic reviews on PubMed, but that's probably not interesting, not important right now. So let's just, let's just, let's just look at that. Depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, suicidality and self-harm on people who inject drugs. Is that interesting? Mm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Whole exome sequences of cell-free DNA. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. The, what well, a systematic review and Bayesian individual patient data meta analysis. That's what we're gonna talk about, guys. That's that's really that. That's really what I mean when when I say a general audience. That's that's the general audience in a nutshell. It's computer guided rejection, intraosseous zygomatic hemangioma. Whoa, that's uh, another one. Intraticular injection of culture expand mesenchymal stem cells without adjuvant oil, allow neoosteoarthritis, bortezomy, maternal urinary iodine. Uh, how long has it been that we that, that we that we've been recording this? Whoa, has it really been twenty three minutes? Okay, let's just let's just be this way. We now find this one article, and in the next video we uh, will will. We'll talk about it. Well, unfortunately, in this video, this process of finding an article uh, is unfortunately and forcefully, forcedly, well, <laughs> you, you get what I mean, guys. This is, here, this is, a, uh, uh, this is a forced decision to make, uh, find an article, I mean, by myself without consulting you. But further, we will surely talk about it uh, together and find important and interesting, really interesting thing to discuss, things to discuss, because I know that there are a lot of things that are really important to everyone, and these things are, are really being discussed in scientific literature and are important, and uh, some important data are being gathered. But these data are uh, are known, largely unknown to the general audience. That's uh, that's a mistake that should not be happening today. So, because this has, a, this could have direct implications for their own health and for our well-being. So, we just have to uncover these articles in these areas of uh, importance. A systematic review on clinical practice guidelines on uncomplicated birth. Well, let's just look at this. Uh, look at this. This is a systematic review, means a very thorough literature review, methodologically sound, uh, that's just a, a very good uh, and scientific review of literature that's uh, robust, that's, uh, that follows a very complicated methodology, uh, and uh, what is discussed here? Here, uh, the discussion is about uncomplicated birth. So, uh, it is of importance and of direct relation to everybody who who uh, who's about to give birth. To uh, so to, to all families, all couples, all uh, girls and guys who are thinking about um, given given uh, well having a baby. That's it. Who are about to give it to, to, to have a baby and look at that big grant blah, 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 blah. clinical practice guidelines on important uh, un uncomplicated birth provide clinical practice guidance and help to reduce unnecessary non evidence based and potentially harmful intrapartum care practices. So, what does it give to a uh, to just a, a random person to a random guy? they would know that these practices have been found to be problematic and uh, and this is scientific evidence this is this is uh, this is an interesting thing uh, um, by, by the way chinese authors uh, have been uh, have done this work 
this is a, this is a Chinese journal, the, the impact of Chinese scientists on clinical clinical science lately has been tremendous, really, guys. And you, you, you can find that on PubMed, there's been a great increase in, uh, in, in uh, indexing of Chinese scientific journals. That's been really big thing. And uh, that's just fascinating. That's just fascinating that not the, just the United States or the UK or uh, other countries of, of Western Europe or, or Japan are uh, uh, making a contribution to the international science. Not, uh, not Russia. Unfortunately, this is, this is our problem. That there is not a, uh, there is no good clinical science, unfortunately, in Russia. And the, the, the examples uh, are very, of good clinical science are very rare and the, there are uh, important, important causes to this, historical causes and a lot of other problems here. But th that's not a thing to discuss now. But uh, this is really great that China has been, uh, has been doing such great work. And, well, some of these articles are not that good too, but some of them are really great. So, so this is, I think, this is an important thing to discuss and uh, for me to, to have a look at and to discuss with you in the next video. And I promise that for the next video, I'm going to compile a list of interesting articles, uh, of articles just like this one that could have importance for everyone or almost everyone, well, say for every second person on this earth and, and that could have uh, really uh, real some real practical importance. Okay, so let's let's just uh, wrap this up for now and thank you for for watching that turned out to be quite a long talk. So thank you for watching and come back for the next video and we'll have uh, we'll have interesting discussions I believe. Thank you very much.